Tamir Triel here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are gonna be doing one of my favorite fasted cardio workouts to really shred that fat and lose those extra pounds. Make sure that you have your water handy because you are really going to get a good sweat with this one. So without further ado, let's get started. So if you've watched any of my previous fitness videos, you know that I am a huge advocate of just getting a quick stretch in before starting any workout, just to avoid any injuries or any cramping that may occur while you're working out. So what we're gonna get started with today is just some high stepping in place just to get our blood flowing and really working that body out. Nothing too stressful here. Just want to make sure that you really get those knees up. This is really going to help to get that blood flowing. It's going to burn some great calories and it's a great way to start any fasted cardio workout. This is a superset by adding on some jumping jacks. Jumping jacks are so, so easy to do, but yet so effective in burning good calories and really getting your heart rate up. and making this warm up even more challenging by going back to the high knees without a break. So by this point, you're probably breathing very, very hard, which is good. That means that your heart rate is up. Just make sure that you are breathing in through your nose, out of your mouth. Do not hold your breath at all. You want to make sure that you continue breathing so you can really get some oxygen in your lungs. Just 30 seconds of jumping jacks, guys. You can do it. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. If you need to take a quick break, that's fine too. get started right <laughs> go ahead and take a quick breather get a sip of water walk around a little bit try to calm down a little I know that was super super challenging to do so in a couple of seconds we are going to get started with alternating four touches with a little bit of a skip in between I'm doing a little bit of a skip in between, alternating each hand touching the floor. When you do this exercise, I really advise to keep your head up. That's going to stop that extra blood flow from going to your head and that's going to cause you to get dizzy. Again, make sure that you're breathing, no holding breath here, in through your nose and out through your mouth. I lost my footing a little bit here, but what we're doing is a shuffle to each side. Shuffle, shuffle up, shuffle, shuffle up. Shuffle, shuffle, knee up, shuffle, shuffle, knee up. This is actually giving us a full body workout. You're moving those arms, that knee is coming up, so you're working that oblique area and you're getting a full leg workout here. Going back to those alternating floor touches, remember what I said about your breathing. Make sure that you're breathing into the nose, out the mouth. Make sure that your chest is up so we're not causing any dizziness. back to our shuffling to go ahead and finish this on out. You're so close to finishing this exercise. You can do it guys. Yes, guys. 
guys, I know this is seriously no joke. Go ahead and utilize all the time that you need to catch your breath, get a sip of water. I really wanted to give you guys extra time to rest here because I know this is super, super challenging and cardio can be really tough for some. So take all the time you need. Next, we are going to be moving on to some burpees and some mountain climbers. burpees guys I really want to challenge you to really expend that energy through your legs and get your feet off of the floor really jump off the floor come down get into your plank position try to get your knees as close to your chest as possible before coming back to your squat position to get ready to jump again Yes, I am giving you a super set here. Breathe for me, guys. Take your time if you need to. With this diagonal crunch, we really want to focus on only twisting the upper body and keeping the pelvis neutral. What this does is really gives you a good workout in that ab and oblique area. Make sure you keep proper form by keeping your hands in line with your ears and elbows. Make sure that you're lifting your chest and your shoulders off the floor completely. Almost finished with this set, guys. You can do it. And yeah, sometimes you just have to sit there and breathe for a second. <laughs> Great job, guys. Go ahead and grab your water. Take a quick sip. And if at any point you find it challenging to catch your breath during this exercise or any exercise for that matter, make sure that you grab your hands over top of your head to really open that rib cage and get some oxygen in your lungs. Whatever you do, don't lean over to catch your breath. That really does not help you. You guys, look at this sweat on me. This is a killer workout for sure. <laughs> All right guys, so we're gonna be moving on next to oblique knee pulls. All right, so we're slowing the pace a little bit with this one, but still just as effective for this fasted cardio workout. So we're standing about hip width apart. You want to make sure that you are lifting your knee at least 90 degrees to really get that oblique workout in. And quick switch over to the other side. this superset with another full body exercise so we are squatting coming back up twisting the body with a punch to the left and right remember make sure that you're squatting and that your bottom is coming down further than your knees to really activate those oblique muscles come back up give a squeeze to your glutes switch left and right twist your body to really get a workout for those obliques 
and switching it up just a little bit here with an uppercut instead of a jab. with this exercise great job we are so so close to the end of this workout comment down below and let me know how you're feeling so far next we're going to be moving on to the bicycle exercise but take this time to rest as much as you need movement of your entire body with this workout really makes it a great cardio and muscle strengthening workout. So with the bicycle, this really does give you a great workout for your entire abdominal area. With this twisting that I'm doing with my upper body here, that really gives you a great workout for your obliques. Quick tip, when you are straightening your legs before bending them back again, the closer your legs are to the floor, the better the workout is for your abs. down a little bit with this bridge and one leg bridge so when you do your bridges make sure that you are lifting your pelvis as much as possible adding a little squeeze onto the end of that bridge and then the one legged bridge just really helps to activate each glute separately guys thank you so much for hanging in there with me today go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back for this super super challenging workout today go ahead and get your sip of water thank you so much for hanging out with me I really hope you guys enjoyed this workout today and were able to take something from it if you did make sure you go ahead and subscribe down below and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when my next one drops make sure to eat some protein to feed those muscles bye